Hey everyone, it's your boy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about WoW Classic and its best add-ons. We're going to talk about the generic WoW Classic add-ons that really make the game pop out and shine. Uh, a lot of you guys like World of Warcraft Classic the way it is, and don't want to add anything like these add-ons. And if you don't want to do that, this isn't a video for you. This video is going to be suggesting all of the add-ons that kind of make your life easier in World of Warcraft. So. If you guys don't like add-ons like I previously said, get out of here. You're not going to like this video. But if you're looking for an easier life in WoW Classic and looking for a way that I enjoy playing the game, um, Classic WoW has some add-ons that are going to be just amazing for you. So what are add-ons maybe? You're asking, you know, what what do these really do for you? Uh, these are modifications that kind of let you play the, uh, the World of Warcraft Classic game the way you want to play it. They mostly improve the quality of life and add additional assistance for questing, raiding, dungeons, um, the auction house, you know, pretty much anything you're looking to get better quality of life improvements for, they're there. So we're going to start out with some of the most basic add-ons for World of Warcraft and kind of go over why they're important and um, kind of just explain each one. We're going to try to quickly go over this. I've seen some best add-ons, uh, you know, for World of Warcraft Classic. I've seen some videos. They go very, very slow and they take, you know, 20 minutes or they try to get over that 10 minute mark. We're going to try to go through this very, very quickly. So uh, try to hang on guys as we go through this and fly through this. Uh, and let me know in the comments if you guys want me to slow down in future videos. Uh, but we're going to start off with the best add-ons for WoW Classic, and it's going to start with the generic ones. It's definitely going to start out with Details, exclamation point, damage meter. Uh, the Details damage meter is going to be used to track how much you or your group is doing in terms of DPS, uh, or damage per second, uh, total healing, and many other stats. We're going to have Recount, which is similar to Details damage meter, but a more simple version that is more new player friendly and lightweight. Uh, then we have the weak auras too. This basically allows players to move easily, uh, kind of keeping track of buffs, debuffs, and other relevant information. Uh, we have postal, which isn't a big deal, but it you know it helps make and manage your inventory, uh, not your inventory, your mailbox a lot easier. So postal helps with your mailbox and kind of manage your mailbox a little bit easier. And then we have bagnon, uh, B A G N O N, actually a little interesting way of uh, pronouncing that is Bagnon. Uh, people call it different ways, um, but this basically helps players find items easier within their inventory, bank, and guild vault. Very, very, very helpful. Uh, now we're going to move on to the Atlas. This provides players with world, dungeon, battleground, and raid maps. Uh, so this will basically help you around the World of Warcraft world. Uh, the Atlas is definitely going to be important to new players to understand where they're going and where they're at. Uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So now we're gonna have the Atlas loot enhanced. Uh, this basically shows the possible loot from bosses. So if you need a certain, you know, set, uh, you know, set up item or gear or piece that you just don't have yet, you're actually able to see what the bosses are capable of dropping with the Atlas loot enhanced. So now we're gonna be onto the saved instances. This tracks daily and weekly quests, trade skill cooldowns, and many other th uh, many other things that are useful. And helpful to you so make sure you guys check out saved instances as well uh, now we're down to the WIM or WIM this improves the overall UI and chat experience in WoW uh, this is going to be very helpful for you guys that you know know that MMOs aren't very good with their chat uh, the chat experience in World of Warcraft isn't very good either so if you get this add-on it will help with that and overall the UI in you know in general so now we're going to move on to the best add-ons for the Auction House. The Auction House actually has some great add-ons. Uh, it's going to start out with the Auctioneer. Uh, the Auctioneer has various tools to improve your Auction House buys and sells. Um, and then, you know, I don't know if you guys know, but the Auction House is actually going to be the best way to make your money in WoW. So WoW Classic has the Auction House, and <laughs> if you haven't played any MMO, the Auction House is definitely a way to make the money, sell highs, uh, or <laughs> not sell high. Yeah, you actually do sell high and you buy low. Sorry about that, guys. But you will make a lot of money at the Auction House, so make sure you have these Auction House add-ons. Uh, after the Auctioneer, we're going to have the Auctionator. Um, this is basically the same thing as the Auctioneer, to be honest. Um, it just has a couple different features, and it's not as popular as the Auctioneer, so you may find some things or problems that you know people haven't ran into because it's not as popular. So uh, it's up to you guys' preference, where, uh, preference right there on what you guys kind of want to use, but those are two great Auction House add-ons that you could definitely potentially use uh, in your future WoW experience. So now we're going to look at the Trade Skill Master. Uh, this is also known as the TSM and is another tool that can help players gather cheap materials from the auction house and gold making activities. B 
But now we're going to be looking at best add-ons for PvP. And the best add-ons for PvP, for the most part, will be those that can track cooldowns of enemy spells. Knowing when an enemy can be uh, using certain spells is a huge help when you're PvPing. Other add-ons attempt to organize what you know what's going on and what you're seeing in a more effective way, such as battlegrounds, enemies, uh, making it easier to keep track of your allies and you know see when they are getting CC'd or need healing. So we're gonna start out with Omnibar. Uh, this is used to track enemy cooldowns, like I said, such as counter spell, spell lock, kick, and more. Then we have the battleground enemies, like previously stated. This is a lightweight add-on that shows allies and enemies in a battleground. Uh, just you know, it's just little things like that can really help you out in this game uh, because this game is so old or, you know, the original vanilla WoW was so old. The WoW Classic, you're going to have little problems like this that you won't usually see in MMOs today. Uh, now we have the HHTD, which finds and automatically adds healer symbols on top of players that are healing. Uh, now we're going to move on to the best add-ons for leveling. The best add-ons for leveling are going to be... Um, you, the Azeroth Autopilot. It's it's easily the best leveling add-on. Um, it's going to have various features such as auto-skipping cutscenes, auto-talk to NPC, auto-pick up and hand in quests, etc, etc. So it's going to have a lot of uh, helpful ways to just speed up the leveling process. Now we're on to the best add-ons for questing. Uh, we're going to start out with Immersion. Immersion is a uh, replacement for dated quests and gossip frames. It's going to help your overall experience in WoW for sure. Um, as we move on to BTW Quests and BTW Quest Classic, this shows your uh, shows your overall progress within quest chains in a simple and easy to follow manner. Uh, it just kind of helps you with the UI of questing in general. Uh, and then we have the Quest Completionist, which allows you to see what quests you have completed and what ones you still need to do. Uh, and now we're going to be to the final part of uh, the add-ons of today, the WoW Classic add-ons. We're going to have the best add-ons for raiding. The best add-ons for raiding will help you find and complete raids. And this definitely includes warning sounds, information during and before finding certain bosses. These mods are almost a must-have for players who are serious about raiding. And they will definitely be worth the trouble in getting in our opinion. So Deadly Boss Mods is one of the best for raiding and it's hands down... Um, you know one of the most used so big wigs boss mods is the second uh choice you know if you don't have deadly boss mods i would definitely check uh check out big wigs boss mods it's similar to deadly boss mods and it's kind of just an alternative uh add-on for sure so that is our add-ons for wow classic i wanted to go over that very quickly i hope you guys were able to keep up with me as i kind of flew through that um but you know, if you have any questions or concerns or you guys want me to slow down in future videos, leave a comment in the description, not in the description, that's where I'm typing, boys. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below the video and hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.